My name is Dada Valentik and I'm a colorist and a color scientist. I started as a DJ and producer and then one day I walked into a, a post-production company and really discovered what grading is. I never heard for color grading before. Later I was lucky enough to find some amazing colorists that have taught me um, some of their tricks. And then pretty much through hard work for the past 10 years I have been building a company and a color lab in London and uh, developing now my own color science and you know taking it to the next step. Since uh, color grading is basically about art in the first place and uh, then science in the second place, what sits in between is the technology. So traditionally what colorists are using are, are like a big color grading panels that have lots of knobs and wheels and that we are able to you know like orchestrate the color on them and with years of experience we became very good at doing it so what i as a colorist welcome is any tool that allows us to be better connected with technology in order to be able to express ourselves. And Adobe Capture is uh, one such a tool which basically gives us ability to sample an image, to take a color or atmosphere from an image and put that into our work. But also I can see it as a great way for many people that are not necessary colorists and not necessarily have years of experience to be able to feel free to start playing with color, not to be afraid of it. Premiere Pro originally was, was a tool in, that, that editors were using, but for me, uh, Premiere Pro with this upgrade and allumetry panel has become a tool that I can use to create different looks and develop looks. What I really like about it is that it also has some tools that are not necessarily available in traditional color grading systems that um, resemble a little bit like photography editing systems. Also I can implement Adobe Capture you know, elements into it and also I can communicate then those color decisions with the outside world. There is an application that I think doesn't get enough credit and I think it's an incredibly important for us in our workflow and this is the media encoder. Our responsibility of colorist is actually to be able um, not just to color grade and create a master, but to be able to color and deliver masters. Media Encoder got ability for us to build our color science into it. So we can actually color manage all the outputs and we can guarantee to our clients that um, their production is going to look the same on the cinema screen as well on an iPad or on an iPhone or any other device that they choose us to deliver. And it also speeds up the process immensely. Adobe I love because they are a big company that hasn't grown up, basically. You know, there's still a child in Adobe that I quite like. And that's something that I can maybe recognize in myself. You know, I like to you know, still see myself that there is a little child in me that likes to play with things and take them apart and figure out how they work. Even though this is a, like a massive company, it's got a big user base, I have a feeling that a lot of development and a lot of new things that are happening are very much user influenced. And that is a, a, like a, plays a big part for me when choosing a software that to use.